Welcome to part 8 of our tutorial series on how to apply custom visual designs in Moss. In this part, I will demonstrate how to create a new web page from our custom page layout. I'm going to create a custom home page for our site. As I explained previously, we haven't styled the navigation yet, so it looks a little bit odd at the moment. For right now, we'll just concentrate on creating our new page. In the Site Actions menu, I'm going to select Create Page. This will be the home page of our site, so I'll give it the title, Welcome. I'll just put a little description here. Welcome page for demo project. Here it already populated the URL. I'm going to change this to default, and then it adds .aspx. This is not the same as the default that default.aspx page that already exists in the root of our website. This default.aspx is going to reside in a folder called Pages. The last step in creating the page is to choose the page layout. As you can see, there are already many default page layouts in the Moss website, but ours is easy to pick out because it starts with DEMO, which is our project prefix. Now I'll click Create to create our new page. Our new page shows up and it's already in editing mode. I can change the title and I can even start adding some content right here. These are the field controls that we added earlier. I'll just add some Greek in here that I copied earlier. On the left side, we also have the web part zone. We could add various web parts by selecting them from the web part gallery. For now, I'll just leave it blank. I'm going to publish this page so we can see how it looks. Our left column is empty because I didn't add any web parts, but our right column shows the title that we typed into that field control, and then the text that I, where I used the HTML editor to enter some Greeking here. Notice that our URL is pages slash default.aspx. This is not the actual home page of the website. If I click to go home, you can see that our home page still uses this default layout. I want to change that so our new custom home page will display when a user visits the site. Moss allows us to control the landing page for the root site as well as any subsite. In Moss, it's called the welcome page. So I'm going to go to site settings, go back to modify all site settings, and here I can go to the welcome page settings. I can browse to the page that we created. I know it's in the pages directory, and we have called it default. Click OK. And now our welcome page is set to our default home page that we created. I'm going to click OK. And now if we navigate back home, our new web page will show up as the welcome page of the website. You can assign a unique welcome page to any site or subsite. I also wanted to point out our site actions link up here in the right top corner of the website. We have moved the site actions link outside of the design, and when a user is logged in, they're going to see this option, but for the outward facing website, this will disappear and the design would actually be starting at the top of the browser. So this ends part 8 of our tutorial series. In part 9, we'll discuss how we can add styling to the main navigation in Moss.